Hi everyone, welcome to this week's short attention span webinar. So Kelly, this is going to sound very familiar to you because mm. uh, I know you do a lot of coaching mm -hmm. where, where our clients say to us, you know, I've got this one prospect that I'm grateful for the opportunity to quote, but that's all I do. And I just, I get the feeling that he's holding me up. He's holding up his current vendor by saying, look at the price that I've got. He's showing him my price. Yep. So. I'm in this endless cycle of quote, 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 quote. Two questions, Kelly. Number one, how do I get off of that merry-go-round? And number two, when do I quit? So one, first things first. So how do I get off this? How do I do some real work? Yeah, that's a great question. And I, the first thing I would say is that if you have any kind of track, any ability to track the number of quotes that you're doing, like some, or, some of my clients will be able to say like, we've generated 32 quotes and only gotten one job or, you know, like that. So where you can actually, you know, again, this is where I talk about appealing to your humanity, where you actually say to the guy, my estimator just pointed out to me, you can kind of play dumb, you know, the estimator just came to me and said, do you know that we've done 42 quotes for this company. We've never gotten a job from them. So you almost like make it seem like someone else is bringing it up, you know, like, okay. and, and where you kind of just have to say, so where, you know, what am I missing? You know, you kind of do that. What's, what's happening that we're not getting this work and leave it open. Let them tell you, well, you've been on average 17% high or, you know, whatever the case is. Cause Bill, I think all of our biggest fear is that we're getting chumped. You know, yeah. that we are, yeah. that there's a new policy, that they have to get three quotes, and you've been only too happy to oblige. And again, you are a chump. You know, we've all done it. We've all been there. You are, you're, you're a chump, yeah. you know, <laughs> that yeah. you allow this to happen. So at some point, yeah, the rubber's got to meet the road, and you just kind of have to say, I, you know, the owner just came to me and said, we can't, we can't do this anymore. We're, we're expending resources. Okay. The response then is, well, all right. I'm sorry you feel that way. There's lots of other people that will want to quote this, mm -hmm. so which is understandable. And maybe one of the things to do is to say, well, look, I would like, this is what I'd like to do. I would like to, I don't mind giving you the quote, but I'd also like to give you an idea. Mm -hmm. So let me find out, let me talk to the person who, who requisitioned this document, this piece, and let me learn the story behind that piece so that I come in with a quote and an idea. Mm -hmm. If my quote doesn't fly, maybe the idea will. Right. Okay. Another, um, my, one of my favorite questions to ask is what circumstances need to be present in order for you to award the work to me? Okay. Because, and then again, uh, salespeople, we got to zip it. Yeah, right. And, and even if it gets uncomfortable, ask that question and then let them tell you maybe something is going to be revealed after asking a question like that about a contract or preferred vendor status or something that you just haven't gotten to the bottom of yet. So we want to know, what's it going to take? What do I got to do? You right, know, what's, right. what's the deal? All right. All right. You know, good, good thoughts. Good thoughts. All right, good. Kelly, thanks very much for Thank your you, Bill. thoughts. Oh, hey, we got to answer the last one. When do we quit? Oh, when do we quit? Yeah. Probably. I mean, the real, the real true answer is never. I mean, we don't really ever. Okay. I mean, uh, 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 only in extreme cases would we actually fire a prospect. But... Um, Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I think that there's got to be a limit. Yeah, you, know, you, you don't, you do not, you do not generate quotes. You know, it's got, I mean, there has to be uh, some quid pro quo, you yeah, know. Yeah. The question is, when, yeah, the, so the question is when and, and after how, you know, after what, what would have to be present in order for you not to do that. I, sometimes I think that might be a good um, discussion for, you know, your sales manager or the owner or, and, and the, um, the estimator to talk about together and decide how sure. to handle it. But it's a great question to ask. Why am I not getting this work? Mm -hmm. Is it me? Is it the company? Maybe there's a plant tour that's got to come in. You maybe you've never seen us. You don't really know what we can do. Um, so I think that's a really a very, very good point. My answer on the where do I, the, when do I quit? I think it's a gut call. Yeah. I would tend to quit. I don't have the patience to just quote and quote and quote. It's, I've never been that way. So really not interested in being your sounding board, your bouncing board, and one of your three quotes. Yeah. You know, I'd much rather do the systems work, the consultative work. I think yeah. that's, that's where I, that's the value that I bring. So that's my own personal answer. All right. Yeah. And you're, I mean, everybody's answer is going to be a little bit different, but it's probably going to be somewhere between like 10 and, you know, 10 and 20 unanswered points, you know, yeah. like yeah. at some point you got to go enough already. Yeah. 
Well, I think this one, I think this short attention span webinar is going to be posted on the, the last Friday of the month, which I think is the 27th or 26th or something like that. And um, just remember to come see us at, uh, at, at Graph Expo. Uh, Kelly will be walking around. She is speaking on Tuesday. I am speaking on Monday. I will be the NAPL booth. Just look up. Look for that really big, yeah. tall guy wearing a shirt like this. And uh, we will be there. But come support Kelly, please, please, please. This is her first gig. I'm so excited. My first solo. <laughs> There's eight people signed up so far. I'm psyched. I'm psyched. <laughs> Are they all named Malazi? Yes. Oh, that's unusual. Yes. Oh, must be a Chicago Very thing. common name here. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for your input, Kelly. Thanks, Bill. And we'll talk to you all in another short attention span webinar. Come see us in Chicago. Yay.